Hello and welcome to our Rubank Elementary series for the tuba. This series is for younger tuba players, beginner tuba players, or anybody who wants to get a little bit better on their fundamentals. Today we are on lesson 27, page 21, and we're going to talk about how to play 16th notes. Now a couple lessons ago I made a video about how to play 16th notes in 6-8 time, and if you watched that you might have picked up a couple things that we will talk about again today, because a lot of those concepts can be brought over here, but there's a ton of other stuff that we can get into. Before we really begin, I want to talk about this lesson and the next two lessons are going to be all about 16th notes and different tips and tricks to help you play them. So definitely check those other two videos out. The first thing that I can tell you with the 16th notes is don't start too fast because right now your tongue is not necessarily used to playing this fast. You don't want to build up bad habits because you're rushing through things. I know that's a big tendency. You want to say, oh, I can play this fast. I can play this fast. But if you're doing it wrong, it's just going to cripple you at the end of it because there will be a peak of how fast you will be able to go and you won't ever get better. But if you've been doing everything the correct way, you should always be able to make a little bit of progress, which is what we want. Another thing to think about as we're continuing this is the articulation that you choose to play with. I've talked about in previous videos, T versus TH, a T articulation and a TH articulation. Again, I want to stress, I don't want to go against anything that somebody has told you specifically, whether it be your band director or maybe you have a private teacher that tells you one thing. But I found for myself and I've heard from other professional level tuba players who say that a th articulation, especially down lower below the staff, like E flat and below that can make articulating easier. So as we're trying to get our tongue used to playing faster, maybe a th articulation is what you need. Tha, 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 instead of ta, 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 ta. And I will say again, I know I've said this in a previous video, but the ta, 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 the tip of the tongue, top of the teeth, that idea is from trumpet players and it's great for high playing, but for tubas, we're not really playing a lot of high stuff all the time. So just a concept for you to think about as we're moving forward with this. And of course, when we're doing 16th notes, definitely, definitely have the met on with a subdivision. Maybe you give yourself that eighth note subdivision and it sounds like this. One and two and so you can really throw that 16th note on the up of the and one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a and so forth definitely some kind of metronome and some kind of subdivision is going to be really helpful here to make sure that you're being in line and another thing to think about is these lines are really helpful but you can even take this a step back if you're particularly struggling with this and then just make a really simple line of you going up a scale and down a scale doing 16th notes. It can sound something like this. Or another option for you is just do these 16th notes up and down a scale. and then back down and so forth. Basically what I'm saying is start as simple as you need to. Start simple if you don't need to so you can really drive home these good fundamentals and then if you feel good about it, move forward and move on to the rest of this page. But definitely just simple lines like that can make a ton of progress and what you do with the metronome is you slowly bump it up faster and faster until before you know it, you're at 100 beats per minute and you're playing 16th notes and you sound fantastic. And also line one of this page is a great practice for you to just repeat different rhythms rhythms of 16th notes. So you can just take the A section and just repeat that over and over again. Da, 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 da. And then the B section, da, 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 da. Just repeat that over and over again. Get used to reading 16th notes. All of that will be really, really helpful in getting better at playing a 16th note. For this page, we will be playing at 60 beats per minute. And if that's too fast for you, no worries at all. That's the page that I've chosen for us though today. And it's just a fun challenge. If you can't do it yet, work your way up. And if you can play play 60 beats per minute, see how fast you can play it without struggling. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So 16th notes are great. I'm really happy that we've worked all the way up to this point. And if you have watched every single video and followed me along with all of these lessons, then there's no doubt in my mind that you're ready to tackle these 16th notes. And I'm sure that you'll do a great job. These video lessons are great, but they don't replace one-on-one -on -one private lessons. If you would like to take a private lesson with me, check the description down below. And if you're not in my area, online private lessons are completely doable and we can make a ton of progress together. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go make life musical and I'll see you in the next one.